Welcome to Lifely English. In part one of our series on staying in a hotel, we'll guide you through the process of checking in, setting up a crib, and handling maintenance issues. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to become part of the Lifely English community. Let's go! Good afternoon. Welcome to the Starlight Hotel. How can I assist you today? Hi, we're the Smiths. We have a reservation for today. Of course, let me check that for you. The receptionist checks the reservation. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Welcome. I see your check-in time is scheduled for 3 o'clock. You're a bit early, but no worries. We can stash your luggage here at the reception until your room is ready. Would you like to explore the city, or perhaps relax at our cafe until then? We'll take a wander and be back around 3 p.m. Excuse me, is breakfast included in our reservation, or do we need to book it separately? Our breakfast is not included in the room rate, but we offer a buffet breakfast at our restaurant, from 6.30 to 11 o'clock for $20 per person. You can simply head over to the restaurant on the first floor in the morning and tell them your room number. Got it, thank you. And do we get Wi-Fi? If so, is it on the house? Yes, we've got complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the hotel. You can connect to the hotel free Wi-Fi network on your device, and the password is your room number. That's handy, cheers for that. Oh. We brought our baby along and just realized we forgot to ask for a crib. Is it possible to have one brought up? Absolutely. We can arrange that for you right away. I'll make sure a crib is sent up to your room as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Not a problem at all. We want to ensure your family has a comfortable stay with us. Is there anything else available besides the room amenities? Besides your room amenities, we've also got a gym, a pool, and a bar located on the fifth floor. If you're interested in swimming, just let us know, and we can reserve a time slot for you. Sounds like a plan. We'll definitely give you a shout if we decide to take a dip. Great. If you need anything else or have any questions, feel free to ask. Here are your key cards. Enjoy your time at the Starlight Hotel. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. Later. A chambermaid brings in the crib. Here's the crib for your baby. Where would you like us to set it up? Thank you. Could you please place it near the bed, next to the window? Of course, right away. The chambermaid sets up the crib. Also, we have some complimentary baby bath amenities and a mini bathrobe for your little one. It's on the house. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need during your stay, feel free to let us know. We're here to help.
After settling into their room, the Smiths notice a few issues and reach out to the hotel staff to follow up. Hi. We've just checked in and noticed a couple of things that need attention. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What seems to be the issue? First, the toilet won't flush properly, like something is stuck. I see. I'll send our maintenance team up right away to take care of that for you. Thanks. Also, we seem to be missing a bath towel and a pair of slippers. Can we get those replaced? Absolutely. Let me arrange to have those brought up to your room immediately. And lastly, we're having some trouble with the TV. It's not getting a good signal and the picture quality is really poor. We were hoping to catch the big soccer match tonight, but it's almost unwatchable. Oh, I understand how frustrating that must be, especially with an important game on. Let me see if we can adjust the TV settings to sharpen things up. That would be great. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your help. No problem at all. I'll get everything sorted out for you right away. If you want Lively English to continue to make more episodes about daily conversation in different situations, please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Like and share this video with your friends. Your support helps us create valuable content. Thank you for being a part of our learning community. Take a wander. Take a wander. It means to leisurely explore an area without any particular direction in mind. For example, let's take a wander through the park and enjoy the scenery. Synonym. Go for a stroll. Let's go for a stroll through the park and enjoy the scenery. That's handy. That's handy. It signifies that something is practical or helpful in a given situation. For example, having a flashlight during the blackout was handy. Synonym. That's useful. Having a flashlight during the blackout was useful. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. It expresses approval or enthusiasm for a suggested plan. For example, let's meet at the cafe at noon. Sounds like a plan? Synonym. Sounds good. Let's meet at the cafe at noon. Sounds good? Take a dip. Take a dip. It refers to the act of getting into water for swimming or recreation. For example, after sunbathing, we decided to take a dip in the pool. Synonym. Go for a swim. After sunbathing, we decided to go for a swim in the pool. It's on the house. It's on the house. It means that something is complimentary or given as a courtesy without charge. For example, the hotel offered us complimentary drinks, so our cocktails were on the house. Synonym free of charge. The hotel offered us complimentary drinks, so our cocktails were free of charge. Sharpen things up. Sharpen things up. It refers to the action of improving a situation, idea, or object to achieve better results. For example, Let's sharpen things up by revising the presentation slides to make them more engaging. 
synonym. Enhance, improve. Let's enhance the presentation slides to make them more engaging. We're wrapping up today's episode. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. Your support means a lot. See you in the next episode.